All right, Dan and Nico, special episode, the basketball episode. We're gonna see who can shoot, who's got a little flick to the wrist. I think Dan underestimated me on this whole basketball thing. He saw me come in, take a shot with a jean jacket on. I got my tan socks on. I got the Reebok pumps. Let's give him a little. Make me like Mike. That's gonna be an ankle turn. There we go. Right there. No, no ankle turns here. I still got it. He just got to carry you out of here like Mac, Mac got carried out. So we gotta, we gotta, we're gonna play a game of horse. We're gonna see who's got a better shot. I think I do. Dan, mm, I don't know. You just shot an air ball. Yeah, we'll see. Might as well start the show out right at the top of the key. We're over here at TJL Training in Lowell, Massachusetts. And this is going to be the end of round here. Professional athlete, barely hitting shots. I just made that one. Barely. All right, you're up first. Let's go. I'll just give you an easy one here. Just right off the glass. Ooh, surprised he hit it. Oh, no. We're going to take a step back. Oh, is that nice? Oh. Used to play for the small fries. Small fries? And I used to hit free throws all day. Across the Just line. like that. Oh, hey. come on. <laughs> it's the money. Nope. There it is. Ooh. Straight ahead. Nope. There it is. Pop. NBA. You got the strength? You gotta use your legs on this one. Short. H to H, we go side. This is the tough one. This is, you got no back, you got no vision on the back. We'll go college. There it is. Ooh! Oh no! Hand down, man down. Oh. Oh! H O. Uh oh, don't lose to the football player. I'm gonna back down. Top of the key, we'll do a little fadeaway. Okay, here, here, here. Stop. Missed. Just a mid-range baseline jumper here. Nope, short. Ooh. H O. Ho ho. Holiday season. Mid-range guy. Mid-range jumper guy? That's how you live? College three. There it is. Oh, come on. H O R S. You gonna finish with a free throw? Yeah, I'll do a free throw again. That's not climactic. I think it is. Hold on, before you... I was gonna say, before you shoot this, how do we... Some people have different horse horse rules. What? If you make H-O-R-S-E and then you have a horse shot, is there a horse shot or is it just straight up? just straight, straight horse, right? We can play again after this, once you miss that. Oh, jeez. That's the shooter's roll. Look at that roll. That's the shooter's roll. It's all about the four of the wrist. Dude, top of the key, college three. It's the money. money. Oh. <laughs> Professional athlete, down 0-1. Yeah, hey, well, why just play a game to seven? Yeah. Clear and everything? If you yeah. don't hit rim, you gotta clear? It's fine, I'll do that. Right. Here, you shoot, you shoot the do or die. Be a long game. <laughs> <laughs> I learned this from Jordan. <laughs> you gotta put the leg there. You can't back him down. First one of the day. There it is. You hit that? Wow. Huh? Surprised you hit that. Oh. You all right? Yeah. You good? I've fallen and I can't get up.
two, three. Four, three. Five, four. I need to do two single pointers. Don't miss. You want me to touch you? Oh my God! <laughs> it's not a foul. I'm just holding my ground. I'm not about to let you back me in. Oh, you got to move by two? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh, foul for sure. <laughs> hit the wrist. You know you hit the wrist. I did cardio this morning. 30 minutes on the stair stepper. Too quick for that. Rob's intensity level was up. Pivot foot, don't move it. Okay. It's time for a beer. I'm done. So we're back with a special episode of the Dan and Inko show. We just finished uh, playing a little bit of basketball. You, yep. Would you like to play a little basketball? Got owned a little bit. And uh, well, horse, you're, you're, I would say this, you know, the, the mid range jumpers, you have that on me. You have it. The distance, you know, I go NBA three point line. Like, I think I got a little bit of know. advantage there, but we could let the tape roll though. And then we finished with a one on one that one -on -one. we didn't agree to. I just I was trying to give you a gift. Okay, we didn't agree to it. The one on one, the cardio, uh, the, I would say the cardio aspect of the game. <laughs> uh, I was winded. Dan was winded, but I had the edge on it. Yeah. Dan you're, kept saying, athlete, "Athlete, you're an athlete," and yeah. yeah, I mean, I'm an ex athlete. I'm not an athlete. Yeah. I am not an athlete it took anymore. You, it took everything you had to win that game. I had to get serious at the end. <laughs> I had to get serious. And you tried to rebound a ball over my head, and I had to get serious. Someone hit the ground. You did follow me like four or five times. I did follow it. you, but I, the basketball <laughs> rules are ridiculous. Like, no, if not. you're backing me down, <laughs> I'm going to – it's the rules. <laughs> it's, 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 no, the basketball rules are stupid. <laughs> basketball rules, like, I when I watch the NBA and I see guys flopping <laughs> and I see, like, the charging You're calls. About football, they flop now, too, all the time. Yeah, and I can't stand it. You know what that's called? That's called the, the LeBron effect. The, the flopping the in the NFL is the LeBron effect. Um, we are uh, episode 77 here. We have a special heady topper, special the alchemist group? from Vermont. From Stowe, it's unbelievable beer. Unbelievable, like I love this. This they don't sponsor us. Um, they don't send yeah. us beer. I would love that, but you had to go wait in line for a couple I, hours. No, actually, a friend of yeah. mine, Mike, thank you, um, was up there, and I said, "Hey, go get me some uh, some alchemist." So he did that. So thank you so yeah. much. Real good um, stuff. Very good stuff. So we got a few things to cover today. Uh, number one being we are through the bye week. Yep, the Patriots got better through the bye week. They're the now Patriots have, in the playoffs. The Patriots have the second hardest schedule in the NFL moving forward. Yeah. Second hardest. But they can win this. They can win it. This is a big game Sunday against Huge. the Jets. It's, this, this is, is probably a, the biggest game. This is the biggest game of the while. season. Yeah. Definitely. So. Yeah. And you already picked the Jets to win. I'm picking the Jets. And I'm not doing that because I'm a hater, hater. anything like that. I'm just saying. Egg this man's house. Don't, don't you touch my house, I'm put coming. Put a flaming up. bag of poop. Well, so flaming he bag put, of poop. He's going to put it out with his Reeboks and his, uh, his, There's nothing wrong. his beige socks. Listen, is there anything wrong <laughs> with tan gold toe socks? Yes. 
when you're sp- it, when you're under the age of sixty. I am thirty eight years old. I am thirty seven years old. Uh, how old are you, kid? <laughs> Ten, twelve. I am thirty six years old. <laughs> it's a great movie, by the way. Anyway, um, I got my pumps on though. It gave me some Pumped support. Pump, pump. Actually, I almost feel like I was playing basketball in like bricks with no any cushion whatsoever on the bottom of them. But those were the high tech thing back in the day. I yeah, and it was all high tech shoes. You know when you pump these up, they actually just put air in the tongue. It doesn't yeah. do anything. Yeah. Like it, it doesn't do anything. Do you remember the Shacks? Remember Shaq had his own shoe, and it yeah, actually had like no, but it had like a CO two cartridge with a gun, yeah. and you would put it in like the tongue and actually pump it like like hit the button yep. and blow it up complete gimmick but i'm sure he made a lot of money these are actually he sold, cool. he sold sneakers cheaper than anybody else no he the, did but he famous. sold no at first he went with reebok and then i think he went to like some off brand he that, did his own yeah but then they were in payless. they weren't cool though i know you weren't gonna wear the shacks from did. payless he, he sold a lot of them it was like going to Payless and buying the, like the fake Jordans. Like you see that everyone thing knew that they went to like a high end mall or whatever, and they took Payless shoes out and they made it like they called it like it was like Payless, but it was like a French way of saying it, like Payless. Payless. And they put all the shoes out, and people were like, "Yeah, I'd pay seven hundred dollars for this shoe." <gasps> I'd, like you know, all these people came out. There's a video of it, and uh, it, they were literally Payless shoes. Isn't that what? Isn't that with everything though? Like branding. Yeah. Is, isn't that branding basically? Because yeah, if you look everything. at a, isn't a Lexus, a Toyota? Basically, it's, yeah. it's the same everything. So if you look at a, a Highlander, or not a Highlander, a Land Rover, or no, it's a Land Cruiser, right? What's the Toyota Land Cruiser? To- Land Cruiser. So it's the Toyota Land same Cruiser thing, and a LX. Lexus. LX. The big one. Yeah. They're the same thing, but the Lexus charges more money, just like a Denali, a Tahoe. And an Escalade. They're all the same things, but people pay more for the the name, I guess. Yeah. That's that, what it is. That's it. That's it. It's like a, it. what do you really think? What do you think like a Louis Vuitton ba- bag actually like a cost costs? to make? It can't be much money. Like five bucks. <laughs> well, I mean people, they, they like they make, make the bag they make the knockoff ones for like ten bucks. <laughs> <laughs> people like they make, make the bag for five bucks and you buy it for five grand. Yeah. So they're making a lot of money. You've probably bought a bunch of Louis Vuitton bags. <laughs> Yeah, I have. You know what I would do? And <laughs> what do I was you do? such. Do you a, get all pissed off like when you're there? I was a procrastinator. So, like, in true Ninko fashion, it'd be Christmas Eve. I'd get out of practice or usually get off at three o'clock or four o'clock, drive to Natick, go to the Louis Vuitton, buy an overpriced bag, gift it to Paige, and then I was the hero. But those bags. But- how how do you feel when you're taking your credit card out to pay for it though? When they tell you it's like three grand. Well, when you, when you're playing, it's a lot easier. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> when you're getting checks like one like every two weeks, and they're like good, you're like, oh, that's like a drop. That's nothing. That's a drop in a hat. Like, it's like a weekly check. It's like boom. That's nothing. <laughs> like very easy. And then like when you're retired, is there no more Louis Vuitton bags? There is. There is. There's Louis Vuittons, but. I think that as you get older and you have kids, we we more so focus on the kids' stuff than each other's. You know, yeah. I, I'll tell Paige like, don't give me anything. Literally, don't don't buy me one thing. Yeah. If you're gonna buy me something, buy me like a, a hat or something, like a T-shirt, whatever. Like, I don't need anything. Yeah. And that's the same with her. So as you get older, I think it changes when you're single, when you're dating not married basically it's almost like it's just you two it's yeah. like you got to focus on each other but anyway we all know but the, 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 that the kids that, are number that, one do you, do you do you also buy louis baton shoes baton i've not never baton. i've never ever bought shoes like that ever no. nothing you see how never much those are. I, I i refuse to buy them <laughs> i refuse the only thing that Paige has that makes me crazy she bought some pair of shoes that have like a star on them and they look like worn. <laughs> they look worn. They look like they're beat up. Like, what the hell is that? Like, why would you buy something? It's like the young kids, they wear like jeans that have holes in them. I don't understand it. I don't understand the whole like worn concept. I got a bunch of worn Old shit. Oh, man, Ninko, don't put that, don't put the, uh, the bag out with your boots. Like, no, but I'm saying like the worn, I understand if it has like an aged, but I'm talking holes. 
Because like if you put ones? yeah, like big holes in your pants, you're, they're not going to last that long. You put them in the washer, they're done in like three washes. <laughs> well, whatever. That's fashion. Call me old fashioned with my gold old toes. Old fashioned Ninko. Call me old fashioned Ninko. Um, so get back. Let's get back to football. It's been a wild like this past week. The Buffalo Bills. Like, did you watch that game, yeah. Buffalo against the Vikings? But the thing is, both teams. Are I not picked very the good. Vikings. I picked the Vikings to win. I did. Not on the show. You picked the Bills. Did I pick the Bills? Yeah, right. No, I think I picked the Vikings. No, I think you picked the Bills. I picked the Vikings. I'm pretty sure. Well, on national television, I picked. Uh, I know it's the, it's the Nico I picked effect. the no, but I picked the, like the did, who I picked, <laughs> and who I picked. I picked? No, yeah. Son of a bitch. Well, anyway, this is the Dan and Inko show. It's like we, the Mandela effect. I picked, well, at the time, because we do this on a Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, they weren't aware if Josh Allen was going to play. I thought that if Josh Allen didn't play, they would lose. With them the playing. Vikings would lose? No, no, no. I thought if Josh Allen wasn't going to play, I thought the Buffalo Bills would lose. Yeah. But then he played. So I was like, oh, they should win. And he fumbles a snap on the half yard line. He also had, and then he he had little, two bad interceptions. Too. Terrible. But so know, is that like Josh Allen? Is that what he is? Well, Makes mistakes at the key moments. You of the realize game? since the beginning of two thousand one, two thousand twenty-one. Yeah, he has the most interceptions in the NFL. Yeah, that's bad. I mean, that's he, very bad. He, his decision making isn't that good. That's why I was trying to say last week that if Josh Allen doesn't play or Josh Allen does not play well, the Bills are the worst team in the AFC East. <laughs> It's hard for me to digest that. But it's but look at it though. But the Vikings are he played bad the Vikings the are a one loss team right now. Yeah. We're gonna play the Vikings. The Patriots play the Vikings. On Thanksgiving. Yes. Yeah. Kirk coming Cousins, up very Kirk soon. Cousins is gonna vomit all over himself. He got bailed out by Justin Jefferson. Dude, their a, receiving core is freak. insane though. He's a freak. Their receiving catch, core. Though, yes, dude, that was insane. That was the craziest. That's the that's best, best catch ever. In best NFL catch history. of the year. That's the best that's catch in NFL history. Uh, you think it's OBJ better than OBJ? Yes. The behind the head. He was behind his head with that a guy that That was crazy that, that he actually brought it down to the ground. <laughs> yeah, we should show that clip just so everyone can witness that. It was but, OBJ was crazy. I mean, you know, it's gloves. away from it, but you know, he didn't have anybody behind him. Jefferson snatched the ball out of the defender's It was hand. in the guy's hands, and he took it away. And then he hit the ground, and he put it away. So it was very impressive. So, But he made a couple other insane catches. They, in they, I mean, they're, the Vikings could surprise a bunch of people. And now that the Eagles lost in weird fashion to the Commanders, who, yeah, was, who the heck some, thought that the Commanders were going to – <laughs> Questionable calls. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I agree with that. The roughing the passer was real bad. Oh, it, he, he flopped. Was a, <laughs> he flopped. He NBA flopped. <laughs> he gave it to LeBron. That's the that's 2022. Yeah, if you that's do it the right it way and, and you do that's it, a, hey, hold on. coming in at the right time. I should have flopped. We <laughs> should have done. I should have flopped for everyone. It's not in my blood. Captain Insano would lose his shit if, if he I flopped. You flopped. Yes. God damn it, Robert! What the hell is that shit? That's what like he would say after a play where somebody like just goes like this, and they hit you say, and fall backwards. Only thing that I've ever done close to flopping is when the ball clearly hit the ground and you like scoop it up like it's a fumble or interception. You're running back with yeah, it. You're, you're supposed to do that, really. I know, but it's yeah. still like, why are you doing it for? Like you know, it's not. You know, and even when you do that as a player, you're like, yeah, that's incomplete. Well, I might as well just go through the motions because if I don't, the coaches would be like, why didn't you do that? Holy shit! What well, just sent me a text because the Taylor Swift tickets, you know, they they're on resale right now. Hmm. Section A eight, which is on the the floor level of Gillette Stadium, it's like the front of the stage. <laughs> Row four. How much is each ticket? Two grand. More. <laughs> Twenty two thousand five hundred dollars. No, each. get the hell out of here. What? For Taylor Swift? Big deal, I guess. What the hell? Who makes that money? Mr. Kraft? No, because that's the resale of it. So it goes, oh my God. So somebody probably, I think the face value of those are like two grand. So Dude, somebody that's bought it for two wild. Grand and then. To see Taylor Swift. What do you think Super Taylor Bowl Swift? Or less. What does Taylor Swift make on that, though? She doesn't make anything she make off any of that. She resale, no. She makes it on the on the face value sales. Dude, that's wild. 
You better resell your freaking shit, bro. <laughs> I'm telling you. Sorry, kids. Via, I'm so sorry. I know you love Taylor. What we can do, we'll go in the truck. We'll be right outside the stadium. You can hear all the noise. You can hear. Then, then we'll go to Taylor Bora Bora. Bora. We can have, we can have the, the ambience of the, the fireworks in the moment of being, but we won't be close. We'll be on the outside of the stadium. It'll still be fun. We'll yeah. still watch it. Listen. But, you, but you, we can go on vacation. You want to no, go to Disney? That, you want to go to Disney? Yeah, you go to Disney with the VIP tour every day for like a week. Which and still be less than that. Dude, that's ridiculous. Who's paying twenty two five for that? That's probably people. Who? Probably, I want to know who. There's grown adults that go to that shit that pay all the money. Dude, the weirdos. Tickets. Don't let them in. That's like Disney. When if you pay twenty two five for one ticket to see Taylor Swift, you need your freaking brain checked. <laughs> Something wrong with you. I don't care. I don't care. Be like, Nico, you're insensitive. Super Bowls aren't even that much money. No. Well, you know what I find on the outside of playing football? You know, like the majority of very high net worth people, like they look at football players and they're like, oh, you played football? Oh, my. I'm so sorry for your brain. I'm so sorry. You made 10 million over your career? Should have done what I did and (laughs) stuck to computers. (laughs) Or right. done the NFTs. You see that? The F, what is that? The oh, FTX? Yeah. yeah. He's posting some weird shit, too. No, but you just see, like, he's, is he going to jail? Yeah, probably. Dude, Tom Brady, Giselle, they were like, oh boy. They were like, Curry? They were like, in that. Dude, think about guys Brady. that switched over their real salary for crypto. You think they're pretty upset right now? Like when you're or or imagine this, like you have exchanged your real money for crypto and then it went from a value to where you're very, very well off in your crypto world to ab- absolutely have nothing. Like your crypto like your your people went under and you have no money. That's crazy. The it's that, crazy. Yeah. But that's what crypto, I think, is going to be. I think it's going to. I think that's going to be just like gonna a ripple vaporize? effect. Yeah, I think it's gone. Somebody stole hold like ten billion of it or something like. I that. better hold out on that four five eight Ferrari because somebody that's got a ton of crypto is like, I'm good, man. All this, the dollar's going to go away. Crypto's going up. Well, it's like, what, what was all? But doesn't that feel like insider trading? Yeah, but it's like, not doesn't reg- it? But it's not regulated. I though. know, but okay, so but, if but somebody, is, if you hire insider trading, though, I know, no. Listen, there's a difference between, you know, the stock market and then you hire some celebrity to push your brand of crypto that basically to the moon. You know, Tom is like throwing a football to the moon. So you're influencing people to be like, well, if I put my life savings, that's like Wolf of Wall Street, which I love that movie I was just watching. And he was doing the penny stocks. He's like with extreme upside. Are you ready? Yeah. Are you ready to to invest in this thing that could go through the roof? And the yeah. guy's on the phone's like, you know what? You know, my life savings ten grand. Might as well make it fifteen. We'll put everything we got into it, and yeah. then it just tanks. Yep, that's what crypto. See, remember the OBJ thing when he got paid in crypto by the Rams? He's negative like two hundred grand after taxes right now. That's bad. That's a good. That's a good song. <laughs> the basketball song, by the way. <laughs> Nobody could hear that. Um, you got to put Dan falling down on this, though, because that, that was my foul. moment. I actually, I feel like my handles look decent. It's a foul. That was not a foul. You hit me in the head on that one. My CTE advanced. <laughs> I have advanced CTE now. <laughs> no, I, you know, hopefully I'm, hopefully I'm not like an old boxer, but we'll see. Um, this past weekend, I actually went up to, to Maine. Portland. Boxing? Yeah, so I went to a uh, a celebrity boxing, not a celebrity. It was more so an amateur boxing event up in Portland, um, and they actually had decent fights. Like I, I was impressed. Some of the fights, they yeah, had one guy quit. They had one guy quit. He bowed out. Like I'm done. I don't want to get hit in the head. He had some Brazilian guy that got destroyed. Um, but the, like the main card was actually pretty good. It was pretty good. But, were you a judge or you just had to show up? No, I came, you know, I signed some stuff and, uh, you know, did a little appearance and watched the fights. But uh, Buster Douglas was there. The guy oh. that, you know. Knocked beat, out Mike Tyson. Knocked out, knocked out Mike Tyson. Very, 
He's huge. He's a big man. Yeah. It's tough, though. Tough to see an old guy like that, an old boxer, because he's definitely not uh, – he's not – He's not all there. Not no, no he's not – I wouldn't say he's all there. He's a very – like, you know, he would take a, a long time to, like, turn a photo over and then, like, an autograph took a very long time. And, you, Punch you know, he couldn't get up. He couldn't get up into the ring because they, like, honored him and he had a hard time getting through the ropes. Yeah. It punch sucks, man. What it's called. No, that's CT. That ain't punch. Punch drunk. That's what they call it. Though. Yeah, I know. But yeah. like, but back when they would say a boxer is punch drunk. That's yeah, it's basically CT, yeah. it's just head. Tra- it's just no, it's, it's just head trauma. That's what I'm saying. Like, but that's what they just called it for it's boxing. Bad. And then you know CT he started boxing when he was ten years old. Yeah, ten so years old. Think of how many how many. Punches so think about like training and, and back like, then they didn't put like protective gear. No, on and they stuff. would just kill each other. Yeah. And then he boxed a long time. I think his last fight was when he was forty-two or something. Dude, that's Foreman went to what? Foreman. Went. I just actually watched a Foreman fight. So this morning, when I was doing the stair stepper, I put on Foreman Holyfield, and that fight was ridiculous, absolutely ridiculous. Like, just if you watch, if you want to watch like good entertaining boxing, put on '80s and '90s boxing. It's absolutely ten times better. Foreman's than Foreman's last fight, he was 48 years old. That's ridiculous. <laughs> look up how I look up how much he made on the George Foreman Grill. I think he made more money on the grill than he did boxing. <laughs> the George Foreman Grill. Wow, is that so tasty? Uh, Two hundred million. Huh? Huh? Two hundred mil? Yeah. That's made two hundred million from his grill endorsement deal. He didn't yeah. own the grill. No, he, he just he put it. his. It put his name on. Yeah, it. that's a big man though. I wouldn't mess with that guy. At one point, he was making four point five million a month. Wow! Just off a little grill. Yeah, but everybody had that thing. I know. I had one in college. <laughs> grilled cheese. Yeah, it's like a panini press. Guy. You know what? The burgers weren't as good though. You put a burger on a George Foreman, it's like let, let mm. it drip down into the tray. Yeah, it's it's not great. It's not. <laughs> it's a little dry. But you know, you I would put like hot pockets on that. I tried to do a uh, pizza on there. It didn't work. Because you're, you're, you're like in a dorm. You try to do whatever you can without like leaving. Yeah. So you yeah, try and heat everything. up everything you can. But all right, let's get back. Back to, the, back to the Patriots, though. Let's get back to the Pats. Just, just going over how big this game is for them. If they win this game, they have a 57% chance of making the playoffs. If they lose the game, they have a 17% chance of making the playoffs. It doesn't matter. That does matter. It doesn't though. matter. Would you – like? Unless that this unless this offense turns into something that I don't think it will, like unless it flips the page and like becomes a highly potent offense like Miami, where you look at Miami and you're like, how the hell are the Miami Dolphins looking so explosive and so dynamic in the best offense in the NFL? Like, how did that how did that happen with Tua? Which Tua are like, oh Tua, 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 Tua looks great. Tua's throwing every ball like. He looks magical. He looks like freaking uh, magical. He looks magical. He looks like Steve Young. Who He's throwing playing? hefty lefty. Who are they playing? Who are the Patriots playing? The what? Patriots are going into they just the went against some of the best defenses in the NFL. They beat the Jets. The Jets are one of like the top two, top three defense in the NFL. The Jets are still the Jets, <laughs> and we'll find out this weekend. You don't think the Jets are going to be jacked up now? You don't think the Patriots will be jacked up though? Because yeah, here, it's good. that's why it's going to be a great game. This game is going like, to be a great game. But if, if the Patriots win this game, this is like winning two games, right? Because if they finish with the same record as the Jets and they're two and zero against them, yeah, they get they the, get they get they the, 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 so yeah. it's it's an extra. So win you, do you think that no matter what the statistics are, if it, it could be a ninety percent Patriots are in the playoffs, are they going to win a playoff game? You can go to Depends. the playoffs. Depends who they play. I think they can beat it. They the thing with the Patriots is they can beat any team and they can lose to any team. Can you at least agree with that? I agree with that. Yeah. Except so, for they can't beat Kansas City. Yeah, I think they can. I don't think they can beat a team that scores a lot of points. I think when the team, the other team is driving the football down the field and scoring points, the Patriots fall behind and then they have trouble. I think, I think, I don't think they, they have do. to play a certain way. Like they have to play from ahead. They have to have, they have to have a lead to where they can play their style and continue their style. If they fall behind, then they can't run the football first and second down. They can't play the whole like me- medium down and distance like let's if they get third and longs, if they are down like they're in trouble. Well, here's the thing anyway though, is you're not going to play KC 
right away anyway in the playoffs. Yeah, they would have to win a playoff game, which Mr. Kraft he put Bill on notice. Got to win a playoff game. You think he'd fire Bill Belichick <laughs> if he didn't win a playoff game this year? I, I think Jonathan would. <laughs> <laughs> We're talking about. I think Jonathan would be like, you're out. I don't think so. I think, wait. wait. I think Jonathan's going to run this team. He's going to just be like, no, we're Bill, starting over. Jonathan, you know what Jonathan? The most job security dude, in the NFL. I would go in the weight room and I would hear like Slipknot in a five, 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 and a six, six, six. Like, yeah, fuck it, bro, fuck it all. Fuck it, da, da, da. And I'd be like, who the hell is listening to this? It'd be Jonathan. <laughs> yeah, he loves like that hard, hard, like metal, hard. Be like punching mirrors and He'd everything. He'd be just in there like, <laughs> you know, curling tens. Like, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Like getting Would you after be afraid it. to go in there? No, I'd go in there. I love that shit too. I'd be like, let's go, let's yeah. go. So because I like the, I like when I'm lifting weights, I like to have a little bit of, of aggressive type music. But he likes that music, so he comes in, he's wrecking that thing up. Yeah, but like if you were going in the weight room and Bill Belichick was in there squatting and everything, you wouldn't go in. Yeah, I'm in no, there all wouldn't. the time. You wouldn't go in. When you know, in I there. text Bill. Want me to hear what I text him? <laughs> Should I keep that between us though? What? The me and Bill's combo. I don't know. Let's see what he responded with. <laughs> when is this from? Recent? November. When he when he did the... Uh... So, like, this month? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> All right. Know, you said November. Like, <laughs> we're in fucking November. <laughs> I usually text him. Like, I know he's in, uh, you know, a, a happy birthday. I, you know, wish oh, him a happy you're birthday. such a kiss <laughs> asshole. No, well, I mean, it was, uh, I was with the guy for a long time. He helped Do you have me. it on your calendar? No, like, I just wake up I knew it was. Oh, shit, it's Bill's Happy birthday. birthday. Last oh, time shit. I texted him was in April. But anyway, <laughs> I, I knew that he had surpassed, and he's like the uh, second all-time. Yeah. So I just said, I know it's on to the next, but wanted to congratulate you on another milestone. Many years of dedication, consistency, sacrifice, and a love of the game. It was an honor to have suited up and learned the game from you. Congratulations. Now back to the treadmill breaking down <laughs> film, because I know when he's in the weight room, that's what he's doing. He's walking on the treadmill. He's watching tape. He's got his notebook. And then I just sent him Everett, posted up, and I said, maybe, uh, you know, one day Everett Ninko will be up there. He wants to be a receiver. And usually it takes a long time to uh, respond because he's, I don't know, he's probably. Oh, do, you, does it, do you, like, freak probably, out, yeah. too? Like, you're no. Sitting there like, he's got a he hasn't phone. responded yet. He's got a flip phone. You just no, know that coaches yet. don't respond that often. <laughs> like, they're, they're freaking working hard. They're sleeping on a couch. Did I say something week. wrong? It took me two days to write this message out. So, you know, he just he said, looking good. A future number one draft pick. Always good to hear from you. Thanks for the text. Uh, you had a lot to do with those. Thank, thank you. Take care. Like, do you think he has like a copy and paste of that though? <laughs> Stamp. <laughs> Everybody still, everyone gets the same response. I mean, it's, it's, I mean, number two overall is a pretty damn special thing. So yeah. he's gonna, he's gonna hopefully try and stick around. I would want him to try and stick around to be number one. He's close. He's going to stick around to be number one. Well, I know, but Jonathan might. No, he's not. Robert's not going anywhere. No, Robert isn't. No, he it's, just got married. Belichick's not going anywhere. I know. Scott yeah, no, we read the wedding. We saw the picture. I was there. I saw it. It was awesome. <laughs> had a great time. Unbelievable hors d'oeuvres. But, but the thing with the Patriots, though, is going back to them, that they can beat any team, they can lose any team. That doesn't give me, like, confidence, though. <laughs> but it does because they haven't been playing Like, well, their offensive so you know line. They can play and better. Like, blah, 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 blah. Just, what, what they need to do with the offensive line is they need, to, they need to move Big Mike out to right tackle and then put Win into guard. Where it's easier. Who is the, who's the best team right now in the NFL? I don't think there is one. Who, what's your Super Bowl matchup? I, whoever's hot over the next five, six, seven weeks. So you don't know? No. Well, we'll find out Sunday. I'm actually coming to the well, game. last week you were saying it was the Bills. Hold on. Paige is calling me. You were saying it was the Bills last week. Oh, shit. Now you're in trouble. What the hell are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> That's not how she talks. <laughs> Hold on. Let's just see. We'll put her on here. I don't give a shit. <laughs> Hopefully it's not like, you know, what the fuck are you doing? Hello? Hey, what's up, babe? Can you hear me? Hold on. Hello? Hey. Can you hear me? Yeah, yes, I can. Can you hear me? Why are you laughing? Because you're on the pod right now. We're just uh, doing the podcast. 
What's up, pod people? <laughs> <laughs> I was just I was just telling them uh, just amazing stories about uh, you know us and our beautiful relationship, and uh, we were talking about Louis Vuitton bags too. Louis Vuitton. Oh, Louis Vuitton. No, have to cut Vuitton all is the. Why well, no? We can't cut it out. We we're just talking about like how now with kids we focus on the kids and it's not about us. Like what do you what do you say like for Christmas that you just like I don't want anything. Just let's get the kids no. something. That's a yeah, trick no, question, I don't need anything. That's like a trick. It's all about the children now. That's yeah, and the Taylor Swift tickets. I was just talking to Dan. Um, they're ridiculous. They're like twenty two thousand a piece. So we're not. I don't know if you're gonna go. Well, you can tell me that. <laughs> That's the worst thing you could. No, I think you're gonna go with you're gonna go in Dan's box, okay? Did you oh, see? Oh, the... that's sweet. Thanks, Dan. Appreciate it. <laughs> Did you see well, he's not in... giving us the tickets. We're gonna buy. You see the, the one tickets. in Vegas. Well, well ninety four. That's fine. Okay, so ninety four thousand dollars for Taylor Swift. In that's Vegas. In... Oh my god. It doesn't even make sense. I don't get it. It doesn't make sense. It's Taylor Swift. Like. I mean, she's great. I love it, but. What in the world? Dan beat me in a game of horse. I beat him in one-on-one. -on -one. I beat him one-on-one. -on -one. He's a good intermediate jump shot guy. Twice. He doesn't have the deep shot. Though. Twice. And I let you win the last game. All right. Well, I'm going to be home in probably cheated. an hour. If we had a ref, it would have been like All five right. You're on the pod. Okay, cool. We, we got to go. I'll call you in a bit. Okay, bye. Bye. <laughs> Marriage is the best. Yeah, but last week you, you were adamant that the Buffalo Bills were the best team in the NFL. They were going to the Super Bowl and all that. Now what happened? Maybe Kansas City. <laughs> See, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Maybe Kansas Everybody City. Everybody annoys yeah. this, oh, like, you know, you know week 10, week about? 11. Did you see AB posted a thing of what Tom sent him? Yeah. I think it was actually spot on. It was actually spot kind of nice. on. I thought it was kind of nice. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, I thought, I thought when, he, when I saw it, like, he posted – I thought it was going to be Tom Brady saying, like, cut the fucking shit, you motherfucker. No, like, I thought that that was a very nice. It was a nice way to say it. Yeah, just demonstrating poor decisions. Like, yeah. how is this? Publicist wrote it. You are demonstrating very you are demonstrating very poor decisions and poor communication to so many people who have gone above and beyond to help you. You, you are acting selfish and unfortunately, many of those people are exhausted by the erratic and unpredictable emotional behavior. When I met you, you were humble, willing to learn, and anxious to improve things in your life. In a short period of time, you have done those things and accomplished some great things and very much on a path to success long term. Unfortunately, you have reverted very much back to the young, immature man that is selfish, self-serving, irrational, and irresponsible. I, for one, am disappointed in many behaviors over the past few months. Disappointed? Yeah. You gave him a thing. It's like his grandfather wrote it. You, have seen, you seem to have lost the humanity in the, the APG. APG? Alex Perez Guerrero or something uh, like that. Is and that, that APG, you have gone from hanging out with good quality people that had genuine interest in seeing you succeed to seeing others whose lives are erratic and out of control and leading you down a negative path. I think that that's a great friend. Like, don't you want friends to tell you that when you suck and when you're being a weird person? Like, I, I don't have anything wrong with that. And now AB goes crazy and, like, posts him and Giselle. Like, that's ridiculous. Anyway, AB, best of luck in your rap career your left right shit whatever uh the dude's tapped isn't all that on isn't all that in text like just the definition of head trauma <laughs> erratic and un un like uncontrolled behavior yeah it's 100 percent. Oh, yeah he's got he's got tons of head trauma well so do i but i know like right from wrong he might, yeah but he might be in advanced stages of cp how though how does that happen you don't remember when he got knocked the fuck well, that's out a by big Von hit Tesper? one big hit you know my guys have big hits and they're but how many hits did he take before that herschel one? Is that the walker one? is gonna be in a runoff in georgia and he got ran over and was a running back <laughs> but, and boxed and did mma but people that watched that ab hit their brains went from side <laughs> to side i mean he got crushed in that hit <laughs> <laughs> he got wow, is this good? He got he got destroyed. I need one more heady topper. But if we're on the Tom Brady stuff and everything, did what do you think now that Giselle is out with on a family vacation with her <laughs> jujitsu instructor? It's not a, come on. Like what what are you, what are you trying to defend not, this? No, but like how do you know it, if you took a picture of anybody with a group and you singled out one guy? It's a picture of Giselle with 
a, kids, a, like a few kids. His, her kids. No, I don't know if it was. Yes, there were her kids. No, I know. It's okay, kids. so her kids yeah. and then what? His kids? Maybe no. he was showing her like a couple moves, <laughs> you know, like the arm bar. <laughs> Do you really think that? It's, I don't know. Like, you know, she's been taking jujitsu lessons for a fucking year and a half. Case, now. Just in case. Just in case. Year and a half. So do you really think it's maybe over football or maybe over... He, uh, his legs look real skinny. I know, yeah, because he's a jiu-jitsu guy. Uh, yeah, I beat his ass. But the thing is, though, do you I'd think... I'd have a hard time here, with that. Hey, you could here. be a freaking uh, black belt and uh, whatever belt, the highest belt in jiu-jitsu is. You're teaching my wife jiu-jitsu? <laughs> that ain't fucking But happening. she did, like, photo shoots with him. Oh, she did? Yeah, you didn't see that? Like, like moves? Yeah. Like... Yeah, you didn't see them? Like headlock moves? I don't like that. I'd have a hard time with that. Oh, and she's yeah, she's he's Brazilian too. Oh, that's good for her, right? It's like close to home. Yeah. Do you really think though <laughs> that they weren't that like that this that's is good. like a coincidence? That sucks. I don't know. I don't like all this like married and coincidence shit and like jujitsu and armbar stuff. Like, <laughs> bothers me. It would bother me, it, you know. But here's the thing: if my wife was like, "Hey, Those hey, are Rob, Brady's kids, right there." Look at his leg. His leg is small. I'd snap that leg. Look at he's holding their hands and everything. That's not Brady's kids. Yes, it is. No, it's not. He has the his his oldest is Vivian is nine years old. She's not even. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> I'll send that one to DJ so we can put that up. Here, here's a conversation. Bring, bring. Hey, babe, what's up? Hey, um, I think I'm going to take jujitsu classes. <laughs> no, I don't think you are. I don't really want you to do jujitsu like individual classes. What the fuck <laughs> is this? <sighs> I'm. I'm I'm disappointed. <laughs> I'm disappointed. You're not doing jujitsu. You want to learn jujitsu? We'll go to jujitsu together, and I'll be your partner. And then the instructor could show us how to roll. You're not going to roll around the floor with some Brazilian guy, like with a wax chest. Like it ain't happening. We're not doing it. That's like uh, have you seen Along Came Polly? Yeah. Are, are you for scuba? Ruben. Ruben, are you Lubin. for scuba? And then like the scuba instructors doing this thing but no that shit i can't no. why did you show me that picture now i'm and now i'm angry there's, there's worse ones though i gotta find it i'm angry i'm angry i'm determined to find this right now fuck that's bad what do you need to know jujitsu for anyway what does any female need to know jujitsu like get a can of mace <laughs> you can't say that no i'm saying like <laughs> What do you need to know? Like, you're a married woman. Like, what do you need to go learn jujitsu? Look, that's unless him. you're a fighter. That's him. They did like a, like a Vogue photo shoot together. Like, what is a listen? Unless you're a wrestler or like literally an MMA fighter. Like, if you're an, a model, a supermodel in her forties, yeah. what are you going to learn jujitsu for? Yeah, hey, you pay a bodyguard. Yeah, like, Look. come on. That's a, I don't. That's a serious face. That's like the serious love face. Get me out of here. No, I don't like it. I'm uncomfortable. I'm uncomfortable. So, so where are you at now with it? Do you think that maybe uh, this wasn't about football? Maybe the, maybe this was uh, maybe this started a long time ago and football was like the a driving force. Who's that guy? That's the same guy. The black guy. No. No. I don't know. It's, it's his brother. The black guy's his brother? It wasn't a black guy. It looks like a black guy. See, she did all these photo shoots oh. with them. I like to roll on the floor <laughs> with my jiu-jitsu instructor. I don't like that. <laughs> I don't like it at all. Paige, so, no, no jiu-jitsu for you, babe. Jiu-jitsu so and then divorce. No jiu-jitsu. So do you actually think now maybe that there was something going on? I maybe, maybe, but I think it's honestly uh, pretty clear of what happened. 
I mean, how, how do you all of a sudden, you, you finalize your divorce, what, two weeks ago? And then you're on a family vacation with your jiu-jitsu That's instructor? That's the thing about, like, celebrities, like, they're always moving on. Like, I, I'd have a hard time. No, I'm not doing that. Yeah, I'm in a bad spot. <laughs> that jiu-jitsu guy take a crowbar to <laughs> That ruined me. you for the day? Yeah. No, he yeah, go instruct jiu-jitsu with one leg. Like, I would take his leg out. But, like, wouldn't you... I told Paige that once. I said, look, if anything ever happens, I'm moving right next door. And anyone that comes over in my car, I'm going to wave to him like a psycho. Which he takes the ZR1 from the divorce. I'm going to be right in the driveway like this. Yeah. And anyone that comes over, hey, how are you? Good to see you. Have you ever seen the the movie, like, Game Show? And I'm going to shave my head. Or was it Game Show? And I'm going to to put a do-rag. I'm going to put, like, like a uh, old-school... Um, headband on. I'm gonna be in the in the garage, just cranking weights. <laughs> what would you do if she took your? Say she took like your ZR1, and then somebody else came over. I almost and drove sold it, the ZR1, but somebody came over and drove it. Maybe scratch it against the mailbox or something like that. <laughs> or like doesn't know how to drive a stick. <laughs> you could hear it like grinding. Like, <laughs> I'd be really mad. You'd, you'd lose it then, wouldn't you? Yeah, I would. We got to go through picks. Let's right. let's go through the picks because. Uh, the time crunch is real. Ninko's got to go to New York City, Rat City tonight. <laughs> you see that video I sent you of the, of the splinter yeah, hat? Yeah, gross. Jump on the guy, the guy falls. I'm trying to pull up the... A rat can't hurt you. You just got to squish his head. It can't hurt you. No, I could bite you. And then you you got realize rabies. that like, the bubonic plague came from rats, right? No, it was like, wasn't it the black plague? Like All plagues come from rats. Great. I'm going to go have myself a burrito. I can't get this thing to pull up. We don't have service. I have service. I was pulling up the jiu-jitsu photos. Oh, that's right. We got to definitely... Uh, Here we go. I think it's coming. All right. I got him. You want me to do him? I got it here. All right. Tomorrow night, Titans at Packers. Titans. I'm going to take the Green Bay Packers. You're going Packers? One. Yeah. You're losing that one. Titans suck. They're like the worst six and three team. Uh, Bears at Falcons. That's a tough one. I'm going Falcons. I'll go Bears. Okay. I'll go the Bears. Browns at Bills. Um. Buffalo. 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 Yeah. Eagles at Colts. The Jeff Saturday Colts. Forgot to talk about that too. I'm going Eagles. Oh yeah, we didn't talk about that. I uh, will also go Eagles. <laughs> we can do that at the end quick. Okay. Rams at Saints. Rams. Rammies. I'm going to go Saints. Lions at Giants. 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 uh, Panthers at Ravens. 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 Commanders at Texans. Commanders. Commanders. Raiders at Broncos. Broncos. Yeah, Broncos. Cowboys at Vikings. 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 Bengals at Steelers. Bengals. Bengals. Chiefs at Chargers. Chiefs. Chiefs. 49ers at Cardinals. 49ers. Niners. And the New Jersey Jets versus the New England Patriots. I'm not changing. I told you I was going with the Jets because they're going to split. So now that the Patriots won that first first matchup, the Jets are going to win the second one. I'm going with the Jets. Oh. Patriots are winning this game. They're going to vault up in the standings now because right. the Chargers are going to lose. That'll be a big, a big thing for them to have the Chargers lose. Um, it will pump them way up there. They'll end up being probably second in the division at that point. It's a huge. It's going to be a huge. I, win for them. It's going to be tough. Huge win. It's going to be tough. Let's uh, go into the Saturday thing. Yeah, Jeff Saturday. I, beat I Joe Thomas. Josh Joe Thomas and uh, Bill Cower. I love oh, Bill. Yeah, they you know. Out on it. Great, uh, great coach Joe Thomas. Great player on the shittiest team in history for a long time, uh, but they look like ass clowns because they just completely like blew. It's the biggest disgrace in the NFL history hiring a guy that played 14 years in the NFL and played with Peyton Manning and a lot of greats that are Hall of Famers. 
and he was he was a key offensive lineman. Key, a key yeah. offensive lineman, but also worked with this, the NFLPA and like yeah. got the whole deal done for the next CBA. I he, yeah, he hugged like hugging hugged Kraft him. and like that emotional moment. Like, shut up! Like, just because they didn't go through, uh, you know, years of making copies at the copier and running errands for other coaches and working their way up the ladder, when you play football, that gives you a resume. Yeah. Like I think one time Vrabel said something. I can't remember years back when he went to be a, a coach in Ohio State. Like they asked him about coming in and being a coach right away. And he said, my resume speaks for itself. I played 14 years in the NFL. Yeah. Like your resume speaks for yourself. When you play a long time in the NFL, a player has a different perspective. A player knows how his body feels. A player knows how certain situations suck how certain situations feel, how certain coaches don't know what the hell they're talking about because they've never done it. Most coaches go down a list. The majority of head coaches have never sniffed the football field. They might have done yeah. it in high school. They might have played at some shitty college, but they never actually were high players in a high you know, environment and played in the NFL and never made a tackle or caught a touchdown. Yeah, you'll have your outliers like Rivera, Ron Rivera, Jeff Fisher, guys that played the NFL. Yeah. But the majority of them, Andy Reid, they were very close to, to they were very close to playing at a high level, or they didn't even come close. Like Bill was a center. Yeah, Bill was a center, and you know, like he loved the game. Okay, you love the game. Like you love the game. You want to get into it a certain way. You want to be a coach. Go be a coach. But you also have no experience with what it feels like to be a football player. Yeah, I mean, in that instance, right, you, you, the team, they wanted a leader. They wanted somebody to lead them. Yeah, to come he's, in. He's not going to be an X and O's guy, really. Or like exactly. That. He's probably not going to be a great NFL coach. But to come in to lead people, yeah. to change the mindset, yeah, I mean, it works. But the most disgraceful thing, though, is while they're trying to say that it's hiring Jeff Saturday, the most disgraceful thing is fucking Josh McDaniels losing to Jeff Saturday. Yeah, that was pretty bad. I mean, Josh McDaniels has to be the worst coach in the NFL. It sucks because I I like Josh a lot. I like Pat Graham. I like a, a lot of the coaches that left here to go there, and like they suck. And it's like, is it the players? Is it the environment? Is is Vegas a really hard place to coach and to be a coach and be successful? Because on a Wednesday or a Thursday, every single twenty four year old could go to a pool party or a freaking club. Yeah. Well, you have like, to have respect the you environment. Have have you have to no. You have to have l bigger goals and loftier goals for aspirating to be great which is aspirations of super bowl champions aspirations of you know not just making a lot of money because a lot of those guys make a lot of money you have to go beyond that but you gotta you gotta be that you have to be the person that the team looks up to that believes what you're saying and i don't think they believe what josh mcdaniels is saying yeah which is that's tough the, that's the problem you know and this sounds weird too head coaches can literally lose a locker room or lose the whole room based on like their tone of voice. Yeah. Like if you come in and you like, yeah, like have a terrible scream voice, people are going to be like, yo, shut up. Well, the thing and is I'm not saying that that's the case, but it's very finite to losing a room. Yeah. Like the way that you present yourself, the way that you uh, reprimand, the way that you um, motivate people see through that. Like Vrabel, I think Vrabel is badass. You know why? Because everybody on that team, they respect him. That's the thing. I mean, it's the same thing with Belichick, right? Like you can't – Belichick probably didn't go into the Patriots the first year and yeah, it took said, a I'm like, time. you know, I'm the best, you know, yeah. and I, you know, I'm going to – I'm going to hold you to a certain standard. You know, he didn't do all that. He probably built it as the team and yeah. then he gets to it because now – if he tells somebody to do something, what do you think in your head? You can't be like, fuck this guy. Like, you have to go, no, well, he's probably like, one of the greatest shit. coaches of all yeah, time, so I'm just going to do what he's going to say. Exactly. But Josh McDaniels, I think, goes into it thinking that he's the greatest of all time and telling these guys what to do, and they're just like, who the fuck are you? Yeah. I mean, that's... You know, you're 7-20, and 20, you know, in your career as a head coach. Like, it should happen. Yeah. It should happen. But it's... Uh, I mean, he, he'll he probably be the, the offensive coordinator next year. <laughs> That'd be a good thing. Mac would love him. Yeah. Matty P will go right but back to the Billy O defense. stuff is coming back out now, too. I don't know. Well, he they need to do something because that – they might might do – they got to do something because that offense is bad. Maybe they're going to come out now. They'll get it rectified. Well, we'll find out Sunday. Prove we'll Nico find wrong. out against the Jets. Well, I think that's a wrap. Yep. Nico's got to go to New York. Got an hour ride home. I got to beat traffic. No, got to go drive an hour at home thinking, so, like, shit, I just lost. <laughs> just lost. <laughs> 
So go Could tune in. <laughs> watch us play our game of horse. My shot isn't broke. I have a decent shot. I was short on a lot of things. I blame the pumps. I blame the tan <laughs> socks. Uh, but again, thanks for tuning in. We'll be back next week, and we'll see what the Pats do. We'll see what the NFL yeah. does. Yeah. Uh, and check us out on DanandNico.com, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Follow us and subscribe on YouTube. Uh, and we'll see you guys next week. See you guys. Take care.